So the Lord has been putting this word, I believe, in my spirit. Uh, it's a good day to clean today, get things done with the weather. And as I began, these thoughts started coming into my spirit, into my mind. And uh, I want to uh, relay them. So there is such a thing as a Stockholm Syndrome. And Stockholm Syndrome is where and when... Um, a victim bonds with a perpetrator, tries to protect them, uh, feels a closeness to them. That in itself is different than what the Lord is giving me here. There are times when, and many times in history, when people have been hurt terribly by other people who have at the moment said and done terrible things and it's caused and afflicted pain and we are called to be merciful and we are called to see past people's actions to their hearts you know the lord is bringing back the apostle paul jesus saw everything that paul did as saul his old character he killed Christians. He hurt people. He said things. He was a violent man. And he thought he was doing the right thing. But Jesus saw past Paul's words and actions, or lack of them, to his heart. And sometimes when people still see something good in people who have hurt them, it doesn't have to be Stockholm Syndrome. It doesn't have to be that. It can be the fact that the love of God in us as believers sees past a person's inactions, their lack of words, or sees past their words and actions to the redemptive qualities in a person. I was talking um, with a friend not too long ago about this very thing. And we were talking about how the love of God can still be in our hearts for people who have wounded us. And it's very difficult for us un sometimes to understand that fact. Sometimes as Jesus sees everything that we can become, despite who we are at the moment, like Peter, like the Apostle Paul, like you and I, I mean, think about all the things that we have said and done that were sinful or wrong and hurt people or the lack of things that we should have and didn't. And yet his love still is there for us because he sees in us things that we can become. He knows who he made us to be and he's God. Now, we don't go as far as that to see that in each other. But we can still see the good things in each other. I know people in my own life that I have seen and heard things that were undesirable, un ungodly. But yet at the same time, when you see the person, the person, I'm not talking about actions. People's actions and words are not who they are. They're not who we are. They're not our identity. They're where we're at at the moment in our walk with God, in our life. Or maybe he's not in our life yet. And that explains a lot. But Jesus can change anyone. And indeed he has. If you look back through history, the most, some of the most vile actions and things that people have done when they didn't know him, and then when he came, how they turned their life around, no one is past redemption. No one is past a second, third, fourth chance, a 70 times seven forgiveness. So no, it's not always Stockholm Syndrome. It's not that all the time. It's the fact that sometimes we can see the most redemptive qualities and still love the very people who have wounded us. That's the love of God. That's a miracle. Have a great day.